Hello humans, so this video is going to be all about the Spectrum Next and my collection and I'm going to dedicate this video to the YouTuber TJ. So cheers TJ, I'll, uh, I'll show you my collection in the next couple of minutes. So, there it is, the glorious Spectrum Next. Fantastic little computer. So, I suppose one of the first things that I bought um, for my Spectrum Next was this um, breaker cable um, with a little switch. So, I could turn the Spectrum Next on and off because the power adapter that comes with it hasn't got a on and off switch and the Spectrum Next hasn't got one so it's only got a, a reset um, button but I believe in the Kickstarter 2 um, that's either going to be built into the cable or you get a branded um, breaker switch so that would be cool the second item I ended up buying was this cable from um, Retro Computer Shack and it's basically um, it's a cable that you had to buy for the Spectrum Plus 3 um, so you could use a tape, tape deck um, it's different to the grey and black one as in the Spectrum Next um, outputs a stereo and then this cable splits it into mono so you can fit it into your tape deck into the ear socket and then you can obviously play all your old spectrum games uh, if you've still got some on tape So the other items I've got for the Spectrum Next is, I've got various joysticks, but I tend to use uh, this power, power play one. Um, yeah, it's a good little joystick for the, the Next. I've also got, um, because the Spectrum Next supports uh, PS2 mouse and keyboard, I have this trackball, Logitech trackball, which uh, works really well with the uh, Spectrum Next. So regarding software for the Spectrum Next, one of the titles I originally got was uh, Montana Mike. Um, and oh, in the box comes on the little SD card and uh, had a, it's alive and a little Montana Mike badge and you also received a little map and with some instructions on the back as well which is really cool and I managed to get this before the uh, Spectrum had even Spectrum Next had even been released. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I think one of the second items I bought was Dungeonette from the same company, Software Amusements. And in there you get the game on the SD card, exactly the same. 
replace that one. I believe I then got Delta Squad, which is a cool little shooter game. Again, from the same company, Software Amusements. And again, comes on the SD card. I believe I then brought Dweeb's Drop. And again, a sneak card. And then Bubblegum Brothers, or Bubblegum Bros. When I bought this, I actually had two um, two bubbly gums with these, so that was pretty cool. And that's on, uh, on the SD card. Also. So I also purchased this great program, which I haven't properly played with yet, if I'm honest. Called Next Door, which is some pro music software for writing your own uh, tunes and uh, music on the Spectrum Next can't wait to uh, have a go with to be fair um, and again that comes on the SD card and uh, there's a little leaflet here um, and it's got all the shortcut keys what you need on the back so yeah looking forward to uh, having a go with that so what else what else so we have got Warhawk, which I'm sure a lot of you would have seen um, from Rusty Pixels. Warhawk comes on that nice SD card and nice inside case. Out. Nice case there. They actually fit into there. I believe these cases are. Whoop. I believe these cases are PSP cases because um, at the time they hadn't really found a standard with cases, I believe. And so this Warhawk comes with a nice little. I'm not going to say it's a manual, but it's a leaflet construction outlet. So we've got Tyveron, I think that's how you pronounce it. Tyveron. Um, again, from Rusty Pixels. Again, comes in this nice cool box, an SD card. Leaflet. Well, maybe this thing's still old style, retro style, wiki banners. And then everybody's favourite, Baggers in Space. Awesome guy. Obviously from Rusty Pixels, and that comes on the uh, SD card. Same, fits in there nicely. With the instruction leaflet again. Which is cool. Which is obviously uh, like a an up-to-date take on Jetpack. Awesome game. So we've got this game here that I bought D -Lo from Delo Games, QB. This, this is one of my favourites, I really do like this game. It doesn't come with um, an instruction leaflet. Um, it comes on the SD card. 
this style case again. So that fits in there nice, which is good. But uh, yeah, definitely want to get hold of that one if you can. Uh, we've got this one, um, Grelux Contagion. Uh, also includes Grelux Colony 7. So you get two games uh, in one really. Uh, Colony 7's uh, an interactive digital comic. Um, I haven't properly played that yet, so I can't really... Uh, I think I did an unboxing video of this one. Standard, standard box again. Comes on that little SD card as usual. And then this has a nice little, nice little booklet. It's pretty cool. But as I say, I haven't, I haven't got around to playing it properly yet. So. Now I didn't buy these, but if you go on the Rusty Pixels uh, website, you can um, you can download the files, the games. Um, I believe they are included in the next software anyway. But you can download the covers, and they just cut them out, and they just fit into a, a regular. Um, DVD box the collection. Um, I haven't got around to making my own like SD cards for them yet, but uh, these are old Xbox uh, boxes. Um, but yeah, I think they uh, they look pretty cool. So there you go. That's my um, Spectrum Next collection so far. Um, thanks for uh, TJ on YouTube for asking everybody um, what their collection was like so obviously I dedicated this video to him uh, so cheers for that mate um, yeah so thanks for watching the video um, I'll put any um, links that I can think of for any of these cables or any of the games uh, in the description below um, I'll also um, give you a link to TJ's uh, YouTube channel because um, he's got an awesome does a lot of stuff to do spectrum and spectrum as well as all various other computers um, and I will catch you next time cheers